Introduction Welcome to Science Lab. Today, we'll be exploring the fascinating double-slit experiment. Have you ever wondered what happens when light passes through two narrow slits? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating phenomenon of the double-slit experiment, one of the most influential experiments in modern physics. The double-slit experiment was first performed in 1801 by Thomas Young. He shone a beam of light at a wall with two narrow slits in it. What he found was remarkable, when the light shone through the slits, it created an interference pattern on the wall behind it. This interference pattern was the result of light waves overlapping, similar to waves that form when two pebbles are dropped in a pond. This phenomenon could only be explained by light behaving as a wave, rather than a particle. In the 1960s, physicists decided to try the experiment again, but this time they used electrons instead of light. To everyone's surprise, the electrons also created an interference pattern. This meant that electrons, which are particles, were also behaving like waves. This led to the development of wave-particle duality. This is the idea that light and matter can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties, depending on the experiment. Today we are running same experiments using green and red color laser beams. Experiment Setup We'll need to set up the experiment first. We'll need a laser, a double slit, and a screen to project the results. Now, let's turn on the laser and direct it through the double slit. We'll place the screen opposite the double slit. In this experiment, we are using green color and red color laser beams and compare the laser. Laser beam passes through a single slit. Before running the experiment using double slit, we can try the same experiment using single slit. We can see a diffraction pattern on the screen. If the laser beam act as particles it should make one lines in the screen, but it creates a diffraction pattern in the screen, which is similar to pattern created on water surface by a vibrating source. Laser beam passes through double slit. When we look at the screen, we'll see an interesting pattern of alternating light and dark bands. This pattern is the interference pattern created by the double slit experiment. We can measure the distance of pattern using this experiment. Results and calculation when laser beam passes through a single slit, it creates a diffraction pattern on the screen, like waves generated on the water surface, due to a vibrating source. When laser beam passes through a double slit, it creates alternating light and dark bands on the screen, like waves generated on the water surface, due to two vibrating sources. You can find the fully completed result and calculation sheet in the video description. Download them to view the results and calculations. In this slide, you can see observation and calculation for green color laser beam when it passes through the double slit. In this slide, you can see observation and calculation for red color laser beam when it passes through the double slit. Discussion. If the laser beam acts as particles, it should make a single line in the screen. However, when a laser beam is used in the single slit experiment, it results in a diffraction pattern on the screen. The resulting pattern from the diffraction is a central peak surrounded by a series of alternating peaks and troughs. This pattern is known as the single slit diffraction pattern. This is because the beam of light is actually made up of many individual photons which are diffracted by the single slit. The diffracted photons then form an interference pattern of bright and dark stripes on the screen. This pattern is caused by the constructive and destructive interference of the light waves as they pass through the slit. This interference pattern is a good illustration of the wave-like nature of light. In double-slit experiment, if the laser beam act as particles it should make two lines in the screen, 
but it creates a pattern in the screen, which is similar to pattern created by Ripple Tank due to two vibrating sources. When two vibrating sources making waves on the Ripple Tank, each source creates its own set of waves that travel outward in a circular pattern. When these waves meet, they interact with each other, resulting in an interference pattern of peaks and troughs. This pattern is similar to the interference pattern formed when light passes through two slits. The experiment is a great way to demonstrate the wave-like behavior of light. Our calculated wavelength values are close to right wavelength value for red and green laser wavelengths. Conclusion The interference pattern is evidence of the wave-like nature of light and shows how light behaves differently when it passes through two narrow slits at the same time. This experiment can be used to measure the wavelength of monochromatic waves. The double-slit experiment is a classic example of wave-particle duality, and it can be a bit confusing to understand. A great way to understand it better is through simulation. FET simulation is a great tool for visualizing wave patterns and interference. You can find a link to the FET simulation in the description of this video. FET simulation is a free, open-source interactive simulation software created by the University of Colorado at Boulder. It is designed to help students learn difficult science concepts more easily. It uses visualizations and animations to make complex concepts more understandable and engaging. It covers topics such as physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics. FET simulations are designed to be used in both the classroom and at home. They are also used in research and development to help scientists and engineers better understand and analyze complex phenomena. FET simulations provide students with an interactive and visual way to explore difficult concepts and develop a deeper understanding of them. They are a great way to explore and visualize relationships, patterns, and trends in science. They also provide opportunities for hands-on experimentation and discovery. Thanks for joining us today at Science Lab. We hope you enjoyed learning about the double-slit experiment.